Okay, I think we're good to go now, chat. We're good to go, so let me just hide the little teddy bear, and we can play the video game. There we go. Boop. Excellent. Intro is playing. It has been years, chat. Years since I've been through Oracle of Seasons. I've never done a proper linked playthrough of uh, this in ages, or even put the password for the second game. We're gonna do that with the Zelda Marathon this time, though, with Seasons first. I believe Seasons and Ages both have the same animation that plays here at the start. Just go to old Link. Link's Awakening Link. The Triforce sends him off to on a quest. You can play- you can technically play them in any order. I don't know if there's technically a canon order for them. I've always just kind of assumed Seasons first, because you say Seasons and Ages, not Ages and Seasons. The Triforce has already been collected. So it's just chilling in Hyrule Castle. That intro doesn't really uh, make that clear, though. Two thousand one. There, look at that. The Game Boy Advance was out when this game came out, right? Pretty sure. Anyways, the name is in. Message speed fast. Let's start. Get comfy. Get cozy. It's time. Accept our quest, hero. The GBA was out. I know there's like a secret Game Boy Advance shop, but I wasn't sure if the Game Boy Advance was actually released yet. Or if that was just like a bonus thing they threw in. And there she is. You're awake! Please relax, join our jovial troupe of performers for a bit. Oh, your eyes have opened. Are you alright? I'm Impa, the troop's cook. And you are... Link? I see. Din, the dancing girl, found you collapsed in the woods. She's cared for you through your nightmares. Maybe I can turn it up a bit. Suddenly a little quieter. Let me know if it gets too loud. Game Boy's weird with audio. Din is a popular dancer. Just seeing her dance raises one's spirits. Din has been caring for you since she found you. She's strong-willed, but very kind-hearted. Ah, Din always looks so lovely. But she seems smitten with you. I'm jealous. You've awakened. Good, I worried while you slept. You're Link, right? How do you do, Link? I am Din. I saw a red flash in the woods. And when I went to see what it was, you were lying there. Mystery surrounds you, Link. I'm just glad you're better. Come, won't you dance with me? Don't be shy. Dancing will be fun. One thing that's always weird is that um, between the Oracle games and Link's Awakening, they switch the position of the HUD from the top. Or, or it goes from bottom to the top. Kind of a weird thing to look at for me. That was fun. You're a good dancer. Been some time since I had such fun. Hey, your left hand it has a triangle on it. That is a sacred mark in Hyrule. If it's the true symbol. And you are a hero with a special fate. Link. A special fate. Link, I... Um, nothing. Let us dance. Everything's gonna be just fine. Thank you, friend. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. Yahahaha. I found you, Din, Oracle of Seasons. You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onox, General of Darkness. The villain's design in this game always looks so goofy to me. Those guys, and they're not pitchers of beer. Get out of my way, boy. Ah! Link! There they go. What do you plan to do with me? As you know, 
If I imprison the Oracle of Seasons and bury the temple that houses the Season Spirits, the Seasons of Holodrum will be cast into chaos, the bountiful gifts of nature will rot, and all living things perish. That is the world of darkness that I long for. No, Arnox, no! Quahaha. <laughs> She's getting turned into a rupee. Those are literally just the rupee sprites, right? Down, Temple of Seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Fall into chaos. Uh-oh. This isn't good. There it goes, chat. There it goes. Wahahaha. This music's always sounds so familiar. Is it like a remix tune from like another theme? Link, are you alright? Actually, I'm the nurse of Hyrule's Princess Zelda. And Din's no dancer either. She's actually. The Oracle of Seasons, who wields control over the forces of nature. Zelda has mystical powers that told of a curtain of shadow drawn around Din. I feel like I can turn it up a bit more. Still feels kind of quiet. I was instructed to take her to Hyrule in secret. Zelda gave me this quest. But ow, I've been wounded, and I won't be able to travel for some time. Link, I know not why you are lying in the woods, but you and Din were fated to meet. If the triangle on your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save the world. Please use your power to aid Din. Please take my message to the uh, is it Maku? Maku Tree? I'm gonna say Maku. In Haran Village. Maku Tree is the guardian of all of Holodrum. Surely he can help. Alright, can finally play game. Please take my message to the Maku Tree in Haran Village. The Maku Tree is the guardian of all of Haldadrum. Surely he can help. What timeline are the Oracle games in? I believe they're in the Defeated Hero timeline. Like, the Oracle games are the same Link as uh, the one from Link to the Past in Link Awakening, right? This is Haran Village. Hey, I've never seen you before. Maku Tree, head east. Alright. Head east, you said. Hello. This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with Gasha nuts now. The place, planter, and the planter's deeds affect what the nut produces. The mayor found a good place recently, so he's quite happy. Here we go. I'm Rule, mayor of Horan Village. I feel like Horan Village is a mistranslation. I feel like they were it was supposed to be called Holon Village, like uh, Holodrum. I don't know. Do you have any gotcha seeds? I feel like that's also supposed to be gotcha. <laughs> they translated like that because the word wasn't really that popular yet. If you plant one in soft earth, it will grow into a tree that bears nuts. Inside those nuts, you'll find all sorts of things. It's so fun, I can't help myself. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. You don't know about gotcha seeds? You're missing out. I'll give you my prized gotcha seed to welcome you to town. Got a seed. Plant it in a patch of soft soil. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. Alright. You can plant a gotcha seed. Plant. There we go. It's supposed to be like gotcha because like the it produces like a nut that's like a gotcha pod. It gives you like a, a certain item. I don't know if they're actually RNG for uh, giving you heart pieces, though. I think it's like dependent on where you plant them, like the tile itself. Maku Tree Gate. Show courage to gain passage. This sounds like a Pokemon song. It kind of does, don't it? Zzz. In the west part of town are the know-it-all birds. See them if you have a question. Can't talk to the puppy. There's the ring house. And over here is who? It's Dr. Wright! 
Hmm, the light in here is too dim to read by. Can anyone light my fire? Let's go. The rings are a weird mechanic. Do you know of the hero's cave near the western coast? The hero's sword is said to be hidden there, but no one has ever found it. We're not open. Come back later. Alright, so much for that. Hang on. It's up here. Mickey Mouse guy. The seasons are a mess. Winter goes straight into summer. What's going on? Sounds like real life for me. It's either winter or it's summer where I live most of the time. Goes from hot to cold in a flash. The seasons are in utter chaos. What will it do to this year's harvest? This is the house of the wise know-it-all birds. See them if you have questions. These games, that like the Oracle games, were made by Capcom. Um, pretty much what happened is that Nintendo got Capcom. Like, they gave them the Link's Awakening engine and stuff, and made them produce two Zelda games from it. Capcom also was the developer of Minish Cap. That's fairy. Don't need that. I don't have a shield. Can't fall down there yet. Just ignore those things. The Octoroks are bullies. Well, I think uh, Capcom was a more trustworthy company than Philips, the Philips CDI company. It was just Philips, right? There we go. I think they learned their lesson after uh, that one when making contracts. Push that. Tutorial dungeon. I don't think Awakening was made by Capcom. Was it? I'm very sure it wasn't. Push that there. Extra tutorial stuff here. Yeah, Awakening was just Nintendo. He found a small key. There we go. There's a certain amount of years between Link's Awakening and the Oracle games as well. Hang on a second. Okay, the door was up there, that's right. Let's go this way. No, it said there was a door there. Hang on. Did I miss it? No, that's just Link's hat. It's to the south. Okay. I guess I just didn't see that. Oops. Yeah, original Link's Awakening was 93, DX was 98, and... Put that there. And these games came out 2005. that switch. That's open. Just ignore those there. You got the wooden sword. This truly is a sign of courage. Hold A or B to power it up, then release it for a spin. The legendary sword made of wood. If it's been in that chest for who knows how long, uh, wouldn't that mean it's probably like all rotted or whatever? I don't know. I know nothing about wooden swords. Let's see what this is. You got 30 rupees. That's nice. That's a, See, that's a more valuable treasure right there. Has the decency to warp me out of the dungeon than put me back in for stuff. Anything down here? Just that. Can I check? Yeah, yeah, there's the map. Where's the save option? There it is. Save continue. Gonna make sure I do that. Would absolutely suck to lose progress like that. Maybe I just missed the guy who put the sword there. Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't think I can go over here right now, but what does it lead to? Okay, dead end. Gotta fix a bridge. Good old seasons, bro. Pop. We're on village, hero's cave. Actually, it's it's down to the hero's cave. I guess I just swing the sword at the gate and I can go in. 
seeds down a little more. Can't cut that tree. I'm pretty sure I need seeds to burn it. Kind of just squeezed by those trees, in all honesty. Come on. Huh? Who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? Hmm, what? Din was taken while I slept? There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons? This is awful. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. Alas, how I've withered. What's to be done, Link? With the seasons in chaos, the land is robbed of the very essence of nature, draining all of my might. Can you save Din in my stead? It is all this Maku tree has ever asked. I sense evil on the northern peak, where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onox has cast a shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in Holodrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. The essences possess the sacred power of nature, with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. Shall I repeat it? No. Then I give you this key. Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I'd expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just, uh, rest until... Oh, no energy. Well, he's dead again. He got the gnarled key. Wasn't that exact item in Link's Awakening? I can't remember. Alright. Thank you, talking tree. Probably should have went in that house with the clocks. I don't think I went there before. It's winter over here. There's a seed right there. Oop. Let's have a look. Spool, Swamp, Eyeglass Lake, Horan Village. Okay, but what's over here? The Gnarled Root. Just go inside. It'll be fun. What's down here? Nothing. Level 1, Gnarled Root. Dungeon. Okay. I got those statues like in the style of Zelda 1. Right to the point with the first dungeon. It certainly feels like the assets are more colorful than Link's Awakening DX. There we go. Okay. Go north first. Wait a second, I just remembered something. Um... I believe it was season specifically that if you open the map screen in the dungeon, there's a chance it will crash. I remember hearing about that years ago, and it, I think it happened to me in that old, old playthrough I don't like. Return light to the unlit torches. Someone look that up. I might be misremembering. Let me see here. that there. Freaky. Because I could almost swear it would crash. It might be an E-word issue. Yes, possibly. But I should avoid checking just in case, or make a safety uh, save before I do that. Dungeon map, press select to view it. There you go. No, 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 no. Hit you. That's a fairy. Well, they just look like a little bug in this game. Like a tiny Ledian, almost. There's the switch for the tracks. There's the Moblins. Get them. I like how the little blades have eyes in this for some reason. They don't need them. They have them. Let's go over here first. And I messed it up, yeah. It's a Dungeon 4 issue where that happens. Oh, darn it, I did it again, didn't I? I see, I had to move- I had to focus on the bottom part first. Give me a second, let's check it out again. 
easier if I push those up first. Okay, good. That one does push. I was worried it wouldn't work. Another seed. Oh, whoopee. I don't really want those, but I get the feeling I'm gonna find them, so I should try and go for their heart piece. And I believe the trading quest in this one, the end result is just directions that you don't need to do the quest for. You can just write them down. But you definitely want the reward for it. Compass. Use it to track your position, locate chests, and find keys. It plays a little jingle whenever I'm in a room with a chest. Looks like scrolling between the floors on the multi-floor maps causes the crash. Okay. So I'll be careful about that. I don't know why it's only Seasons that has that. Pop that thing there. Here's a little jingle. I have no bombs. Not yet, anyway. Okay, good. I can reach that. Yeah, I'll probably just save state before I do that, just in case. Oh, it's fast. Okay, I see it. You got a key! Use it to not die. There goes that thing. It's coming back now. Pop you. Go grab this now. You got ten bombs. Well, I guess I know where I'm using those now. Sword has good reach in these games, yeah. Just a, like, big extending hitbox, like, in the tile, like, to the side and to the, uh, one in front of you. There you go. Don't get hit. Don't get risky. You'll be okay. Uh-oh, you're not gonna get me. Okay, mini-boss. Guar, you cannot pass. Regular moblins? What weenies. They're gonna drop the boomerang, aren't they? <laughs> Shared HP. What a bunch of weenies. Give me that. I don't recall if you actually have to use this, but yeah, like Link's Awakening, these just give you a midpoint. Careful of that. Here's a very Zelda 1-esque room. Just push the big chocolate block. Yep, very Zelda 1. That's the Seed Satchel. Which is very important in the Oracle games. Seed Satchel, and it has 20 Ember Seeds. So we use that to light the torches. Let me get a drink here. Already making progress, Chad. Already making progress. Isn't it this one I pushed? Okay, it has to come down. Thing up there. Now that I've done that, can just warp back and light the torches. Drop a heart. More usable than the lantern. I guess using seeds instead of like a magic meter was more easier to implement for a Game Boy game. That's why they use the seeds. Found the boss key. Okay. Not the nightmare key anymore. Now then. Where was I? I gotta backtrack more again. Hello, welcome. We're having a happy, wholesome day playing some Zelda games. I got a Teddy Ursa plush on the side, so you know it's an extra good day. But I always have a Teddy Ursa plush. And that's exactly the reason! Push this one, right? Oh, right, it's just the old man there that tells you to light torches. His entire life, he just lives there to give that info for whatever reason.
There's the hands. They'll take me back to start. Okay, no problem. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. Won't know what it does until we appraise it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Map glitch can exist in all both versions, but if you visited all floors before scrolling, it won't seem to crash. Okay. Well, we'll check that out when we get to it. Oh! Okay, then. That's unfortunate. I thought it was hitting him. He just kind of, like, jumped in front of me there. Got grabbed. Boop. Boop. All right, let's go back. Easy peasy. Right. I'm gonna go up. Totally forgot. I already have the boss key, so we're almost done. In you go. Oh, it really is the Zelda one boss. Look at it. Yep, Zelda one boss, all right. Car container. What's he called again? I can't remember his name. I think it starts with an A. You got the sapling. You got the fertile soil, an essence of nature. Seeds scattered across bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. Just whack its head. Aquamentus, yeah. We did it. Ha! Ah, it's me, the Maku Tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me. Too, I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land I do not know. There I saw a precious item that will aid you, Link. That is all I can see now. Hmm. All right, let's get back to looking. Oh, there's the witch. I remember how this goes. Ow! 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 You watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Thanks to you, all the stuff I fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad. I can't find any Lawn Lawn eggs, and now this? I'll just take the stuff you dropped, too. Finders keepers. Oh, I'll remember this. I forget, I think you have to bump into her a certain amount of times, and she's part of the trading quest. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down. If only I had her favorite treat, fish. Can't get that. She can drop potions when doing that. Gonna have to get those, then. Where can the Temple of Seasons be hidden? Does no one have a clue? I don't know. Let's ask around. Now that I got bombs, I wanted to go check over here. Oh, there's the nut. You got a Gasha nut. Check what's inside. A ring was inside. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Mayor. I see you have a issue here with your house. You got a gosh seed planted in a patch of soil. I'm just robbing this man. I'm a monster. I see another spot to plant one. It'd be in my best interest to plant it much if I can. I'm pretty sure you don't want to do it in the same spot. Why can't I repeat that? Kind of strange. Get that there. You got a piece of heart, chat. Look at that. Black four to get an extra heart container. Check them on the subscreen. Let me see if I can appraise these rings for anything useful. Do come in. I am Basu, the jeweler. 
This is your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you, but you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken, and you won't be able to use it. Understood? Yes. Oh, you don't have a ring box? I like you, so here, take this ring box. You got the level one ring box. It can hold one ring. And here I thought I'd carry the ring on my finger or something. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. You got a ring, get it appraised later. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Let's appraise it. Which one shall I appraise? Appraise this? Hmm, I shall call this the Discovery Ring. Send soft earth nearby. I'll appraise it for free this time, but after this, it will be 20 rupees per ring. You get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now, the list. Appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to your box. Talk to me to see your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Rings do nothing unless worn. You come in, welcome to the jewelry. Yeah, okay, let's appraise the other ones. Hmm, I see. I shall call this the Red Holy Ring. No damage from small rocks. That's what it says. I'll add it to your list. 20 rupees, appraise. I shall call this the Friendship Ring. Symbol of a meeting. That's what the ring is. I'll add it to your list. Well, I guess there's only one one, one worth uh, wearing, I guess. Okay. Alright. How do I put it on with him? Wrong thing. Check the list with him. Oh, I gotta scroll a lot here. No damage from small rocks. Yeah, let's put that on. Now it's on, right? It's better than nothing right now, I suppose. Save. There you go. If only there was a Teddy Ursa ring, it would be the best ring in the world. It would fill me with unrivaled power. I want to make a cuckoo clock better than any before, but I can't find a wooden bird that I like. One that's just breathtaking. Alright. Wait, it's not on? Hang on. That's so weird. Why do I have to go to him to equip it and then I have to equip it again? That's annoying. This is very wholesome music. The type of music I would expect to have a Teddy Ursa. Welcome, sir, to the 100 rupee advance shop. I'm amazed you found us. We're found only on Game Boy Advance. Everything is 100 rupees. Don't let our secret out. Yes, that's right. I'm playing on Game Boy Advance. Is your life advanced? My life's advanced. From now on, it's advance. All right. Now, where am I headed now? This area led to other stuff, but is there trees I can burn down? For stuff? I guess there would be some rings every now and then that you want to take, take off sometimes, yeah. Maybe they have a negative effect? I don't know. Anything hidden here? Nope. Just wasting seeds. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. I guess we continue north. There's probably a tree to burn somewhere. I may as well plant it there. We'll get it later. I don't know if any mad lads out there have 100% of these games, but that sounds like it'd be very annoying to do so. Is that there? this. My dad, Talon, went to climb Mount Cuckoo, so I have to take care of our hens, but there's so much I don't know. Uh-oh. I mean to set it on fire. Oops. I said someone would have a clue about the Temple of Seasons. 
Those rocks are in my way. Oh. Shh, don't tell. He means it's a secret to everybody, but they translated it like that for some reason. All right. Does the um, advanced shop work on the uh, the 3DS Virtual Console version? Do you know of the Owl Stones? Yes. I knew it. That's common knowledge now. Lands outside the village are filled with monsters. I'm too scared to go it alone. Shop. Where's regular shop? It doesn't work on 3DS? Damn, that sucks. Do I need the shield? I probably should get it in case I need it for, like, bopping the, uh, turtle enemies. Wooden shield, 30 rupees. It's useful. Seeds over there. I am Bippin, the expert uh, arborist. I know plenty about trees. Now, please, let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did. Have a look. I am Blossom. This is my first child, a healthy baby boy, but I am having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? I'll give him my name. Because he's cool. You would name him Link? Yes. It's a fine name. That's what I'll call him. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. I hope Link will go strong and healthy like you. Oh. So the name is decided. Link it is. It's a fine name. I hope he grows to be a fine child. There we go. I could put in a very mean word if I wanted there, but that wouldn't- I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be rude like that, chat. That would not be very wholesome at all. Hang on. I need to go over here. Got ten embers left. Oh, there's also this. The world seems so vast here in Horan Village. The seasons have all run amok. I wonder if it's the same in other lands. Well, not getting that. There we go. I see your mom the wall. Splendid, I can finally focus. Here, take this, uh, Cuckoo Dex. You got a Cuckoo Dex. It's the result of many years of Cuckoo research. Okay. Um, I guess the... Malon wants that. Let's go give that to her. He knows nothing about raising the hens. I drown if I go for that. Alright, let's make the long trip back there then. I guess we're starting the trading quest now, aren't we? It's real cozy game hours, that's right. Remember your first Kukumon? That's right. There's 151 of them to find. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, don't worry, I'll get something to drink. Get some real water. Just awkwardly open this while I move my character. Now that's refreshing. My dad, Talon, went to climb the mountain. I have to care for our hens. There's so much I don't know. Say, is that a cuckoo dex? That would be a big help. May I have it? Really? Thank you. Take this. It's a lawn lawn egg. These eggs are all the rage with cute girls. Turn the book turned into a lawn lawn egg. It's a beauty aid. All right, I guess I gotta bump into the witch again for that. I wonder if Dad's all right up there on Mount Cuckoo. Okay, so I feel like I've talked to everyone, but I have to have missed somebody. Where am I going? What was down over here again? 
Okay, water, can't do that. There gotta be something in town I missed somewhere. Over here was just a thing I can't jump over. Yeah. I saw an odd girl in strange garb carrying a ribbon. She was east of town, I think. East of town. Was there an, a way to exit town from the east again? Or is that only the Meku Tree Gate? Or Maku Tree Gate? Maybe I'm just missing an exit down here? Oh, oh yeah, these! I can burn these! I totally forgot. Wait, young traveler. I'm a wandering prophet. Sakura. Uh... I feel it. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, the four spirits are calling you. Make no mistake. The Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple and pay a visit to the spirits who live there, surely they can help. Farewell. Well, I gathered everything I could in town, so this worked out. Thanks for the bits there, friend. Oh. Let's have a look down here. The seasons are all out of whack, chat. Everything's all messed up. Pirate boy. I want to get back to all me mates and dig the ship free, but Captain said, don't come back till you find me, Bell. Can't someone take me place? Samasa Desert ahead. Not getting in there right now. Link cannot be trusted with anything dangerous. I mean, you never know, he could. More moblins. Or are those bacoblins? I never remember. The overworld sprites are weird for them. It's horrible. A temple, like, fell into Sabrosia. Um, what's a temple? is a secret place. I must return in secret without being seen. Oh boy, everyone's favorite part of Oracle of Seasons begins. Everyone's favorite part. Yeah, everyone hates this part from what I understand. I remember it uh, aggravating me a bit when I was a kid, too. Let's see if all my stealth training in Batman Arkham Asylum has paid off. Uh-oh. Let's go. To be fair, Stealth and Arkham isn't exactly amazing with how they never hear you jumping from gargoyle statue. Ow! I always fall for that one. And they never hear a guy being scooped up to the gargoyle statue in the ceiling. I gotta start over now. Yep. She trolls. And that's why this part is hated. You think you're good and she's like, wait a second. Um, I, like, lost something. I must return it in secret without being seen. That was rude and foul. Yes, it was. And then you get impatient going through it again. You don't even start the screen over. It's just all of it from the beginning. Let's go. I know there's randomizers for the Oracle games, but are there, like, any other kind of ROM hacks for them? I don't know if anyone's really done much for the Game Boy games for Zelda. Wait for... <sighs> yeah. Okay. There we go. And now we're in Sabrosia. Whoa, a temple fell into the East Plaza? My, what strange clothes. Where'd you, go? Where'd you find them? Just 
tracks coming back to me now. The volcanoes have been acting up because of the temple. Subrosion Hot Springs. Subrosion Dance Hall. Ah, what great lava. Lava baths, the best thing after practicing the Subrosion Dance. This is the Subrosia Dance Hall. Good dancers get a prize. We're about to practice. Would you like to dance with us? Yeah, sure. I don't remember if this is necessary or not. Then join the circle. I think the Goron minigame is necessary in ages, isn't it? It's like the same thing. Need instructions? Try to copy what I do. On do, step right. On da, step left. On D, hold a pose. Don't mess up or bump into the people near you. Got it? Yes. Okay, let's let's go. Pretty good! You're our best dancer today! Here's your prize! You got the boomerang. Use it to stop enemies in their tracks. Alright, I don't recall if that's necessary or not. Perfect. They're doing a little dance. They're little friends. And there. Time to use it to smack bats. If you can do the Subrosion dance well, you can get a boomerang. Grab items, hit switches, and stun beasts from far away. Boomerangs are so useful. I'm quite busy. There are lots of good ore chunks at the temple in the east. Having rupees doesn't do you any good. You need ore chunks. You can get a lot of good ore chunks around here. It's a gold rush, chat. There's gold in them there, of the temple grounds. Let's see here, how large is this place? So yeah, how it works is that um, Oracle of Seasons has the Subrosion area as its sub-map, and Ages has like the, the separate time periods as like, a, as like separate maps. The seasons aren't enough to make whole new maps over, they just kind of change details and obstacles. So that's how they do it there. Nothing over here. I don't know why that map's even there. Just for the heck of it. You finally come. When the temple was buried, I thought perhaps you wouldn't come to see me. The Temple of Seasons is where we four spirits reside. I have waited a long time for you. Do you like spring or summer? Fall, perhaps? But no, you must love winter! Get the Rod of Seasons and visit us who wait in each of the four corner towers. We're getting to the main game mechanic now. Now, do I need the boomerang to do this? Hope you find that secret path behind the waterfall, otherwise you're stuck forever. There's nothing here. Gives. Uh... I missed something? There's nothing here. Alright, then I guess I'm looking more. I, re I recall enjoying Seasons more. Aegis has some frustrating dungeons in the midpoint. Huh? This has a keyhole. There's that there. Okay, this one's open. Winter is comfy. Yep, you need the, you need the boomerang. I mean, you could probably just throw a bomb over there, so... Yeah, the boomerang isn't necessary, I guess, but... Let's 
Bring the Rod of Seasons that is worshipped in the temple. Oh. Did I not get it? I feel like that empty, uh... I... Huh? I'm confused. Shouldn't the Rod of Seasons been in that area that I was, uh, en that I entered? The big empty chamber that led to nothing? Or is in chunks? Uh, maybe check it again? I went in here and there was nothing at the end, right? Do I stand up here or what? Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You got the Rod of Seasons. With the powers of the Season Spirits, it can change the seasons. With a wave of my wand, it can be winter, chat. There we go. Bring it, the Rod to the Spirits in the Four Towers. I can wave the wand and suddenly it's snowing and it's prime comfy time for video games and hot cocoa. There we go. Chat, who wants snow? It's actually snowing outside for me. I'm a little bit annoyed about it because I wanted to go to the gym today, but the roads are a mess. So we decided not to go. There we go. First kind of big snowfall of the year for us. Thank you for coming, child of the Crested Hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the waters freeze and the snows pile up. Visit the other three spirits, too. Please hurry to Din's aid. The Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a wintry chill. Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. I welcome everybody. Now what tree? So the item was actually the Rod of Seasons. Turn up a bit. New roads will surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Link, can you go for me? I don't really have a choice, do I? There we go. What if I'm- I need to- there needs to be at least enough snow for Cub Chews to come out and play. Otherwise, they'll get sick. We wouldn't want that to happen. Can't jump over there. Anything else over this way? Just keys. And stuff fallen. Guy's house. Welcome to the Subrosian Smithy. We do the finest work in the land, but we take on only jobs that interest us. The two in the back are masters of the trade. I'm just a manager. Welcome to Subrosian Smithy. Okay, same stuff. You're not gonna give me a shovel then. Oopsie, I walked in the lava and died. If you dig up the ground near here, you can get ore chunks. Some spots produce lots of ore chunks. Oopsie. Walked in again, and gosh golly, I'm dead. I guess that's all I can do in Sabrosia right now. Temple of Seasons is over there. Can't hop over those tiny little, uh, tiny little spots there. I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have, like, any of the super weird map exploits that Link's Awakening did. Because they patched those for DX. That's it! You have the Rod of Seasons! If that Rod of Seasons held the powers of the Season Spirits, you could change the seasons. But I see it has only the power of winter. Hmm. Swing the rod from atop that stump. Its power will be unleashed. Do you understand? Yes. 
If the Temple of Seasons has sunk into some land called Sabrosia, there must be other entrances to the Sabrosian land. You must find them. Perhaps you will even go into the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. Wave the wand, and suddenly it's winter time. The snow just instantly shows up. It's already all piled up and everything. Across the water. I can only make it winter. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cheese over that. Gimme hearts. Gimme hearts. Wonder if there'd be anything hidden here. Called it. Darn, they're giving me bombs, but no hearts. The other ones are probably all fake, then. I thank you for paying to fix my door. Alright, buddy. Okay. Okay. Sure, happy to be a good Samaritan. Yeah, maybe next time I make it winter, I make sure that snow falls a little bit closer to your new door. Santa, welcome. They want me to fall in the chimney, that's right. I remember this. I don't like death beeps in Zelda. I'm not gonna let it aggravate me too much, chat. Sunken Falls, Headwaters, and Sunken City. Like, I played this game years ago, but that was, like, when nobody was watching the channel. <laughs> and I had a potato microphone and was just kind of pissy about it. There we go. Oops. Rather, I got irritated too easily. There we go. Anything over here? Oh, right! I have to make it winter, so there's a snow blob here so I can walk into the chimney. I recall. Put that on. Oh, thank goodness a fairy popped out of that. I appreciate all that watched all that stuff back in the day and still enjoy my stuff. It's nice and wholesome feeling. Who are you? Isn't this just like, uh... Nehru's sprite from ages? Ah, you startled me. Winter sets in all of a sudden, then down my chimney comes... You're not Santa. You don't scare me. Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway. Keep the shovel when you're done. You got shovel. Now start digging. Can you shovel my walkway? All right, my lady. There we go. Heck yeah, let's shovel. Using the shovel, you can just get cool stuff. But then you just hit... You just hit, like, steel or something. Oh, did I miss a stretch? It went by too fast, did it? Yeah, let me do just that. It's good for the spine. There we go. Ugh, I didn't realize the cooldown on that had hit its, hit its thing. Someone tried to redeem it earlier, and they put an insult with the message, so, uh, I ignored that one. Oh, there she is. There's holes here, so that's a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna do the trading quest. It gets you the best sword in the game when you do it. Ouch. Watch where you're going. You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Syrup's apprentice. Oh my. That's one of those Lon Lon eggs that are all the rage. With girls now, it's just what I'm looking for. You're a boy. You don't need it. I'll give you my doll for it. You got a ghastly doll. Looking at it gives you chills. This makes up for your bumping into me. See ya. Yeah, water's good now, too. I haven't really been drinking enough water again. I don't, have, I don't drink soda or anything now when I'm streaming. Just mostly just water, and that's been so good for me. Look at Mr. Fancy Pants. Drinking water. There we go. Let me do that here. Let's get this here. 
Give me that. It's a spooky doll. It's a free chest. 30 rupees, that's nice. I do have a shield. I'm pretty sure they can take it, even if I don't have it equipped. There we go. Uh, I wonder if there's anything to dig up in this spot. There's a fairy there. It's definitely the second dungeon, maybe. Okay. With the shovel, I can reach another spot, I guess. So let's go back around. Uh, what was in here again? This was for the sunken city. And there was nothing I could do on the side there, right? I need to get the flippers. There's always a certain point where the map doesn't scroll, it loads, and you're always gonna get, like, a predetermined season. Like, you can't just exit over and over until it changes the season into what you want, because otherwise that would defeat the purpose of getting the ability to change them. So it's always gonna be fall here when it loads in, and I can only change it to winter right now, though. There we go. Shiny hunting spawn, hope you get what you want. Resetting beast BDSP takes forever, though. There we go. Okay. Nope, can't cheese that. It doesn't, like, kind of gravitate you towards it like, uh, Link's Awakening does. I really need to get the power bracelet. Get an Ember Seed. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. I feel like the menu loading is way faster than it was in Link's Awakening. I still really want to play the, um, Link's Awakening remake on Switch. That would be my excuse to finally play it as a stream. Ugh. There we go. Okay, I gotta shovel that over there. Just didn't want to play it right after original. Mystery seeds. You got mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things, like that owl statue. Okay. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Just be careful about things there later. Let's see here. Do not forget to give me mystery seeds. <laughs> there we go. The scam train is going off right now, yeah. People are subbing, so... <laughs> yeah, I see the big hype train notification. It's so silly. Ugh. There we go. I appreciate that, friend. You don't gotta give me anything like a shiny Pokemon or that. I'm good. I'm, I'm mostly hunting my own stuff. It'd be pretty easy if I just asked viewers to give me all their shinies for my living decks. And it would be a little cheesy and make me look, look like an ass, too. Anyways. Ooh, it's dark and purple in here. Snake's remains. Alright, chat. It's snake time. Here we go. We're under attack from hype. A scam. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, if they're watching on, like, YouTube, when you get in a certain amount of people, like, subbing, uh... In like a certain in like a short amount of time on Twitch, you get like this big annoying notification that says, Whoa, you got a hype train. You should tell people to keep uh subbing so the hype train can keep going. You wanna do that, right? You wanna do that. You wanna you wanna tell your viewers to do stuff. They'll love it. <laughs> there we go. So that's why we call it the scam train. I don't think you can turn it off, right? It's one of those things that's just uh kind of stuck on once they started implementing it. There we go. Let me see here. Okay, that's that. I appreciate that. I might take the shiny teddy just for fun. It's just I don't want to encourage people just to spend a bunch of time getting me a shiny. Just for the heck of it, you know? There we go. Let me see here. Move this here. Oh. There's no compass yet. I see an arrow. I wonder what that means. Yeah, there. I didn't even see that snake. I tried to glance over at chat. Well, I got hit. 
I have a key, but before that... Okay, all enemies breaks that. Look at all these rupees. I think I hear snowplows going by outside. Some of them are, uh, bloopies. Like that. Yeah, look at that. I don't think the rupees would replace a, a set item in a, an Oracle of Seasons randomizer. I know that Majora's Mask randomizer has an option for that, where every, like, placed rupee in the world can be, like, replaced with a different item check, so... There's, like, a rupee room that speedrunners can play the randos go to, and they can get, like, the hook shot from picking up a rupee. It's great. The Majora's Mask one is so, like, in-depth that there's apparently, like, two rupees placed out of bounds that even the randomizer also accounts for and can randomize those if you really want to be sadist sadistic with it. If you missed it, um, a few months ago as a sub-goal, I uploaded, like, a nine- like, a nine-hour, uh, VOD of me doing an entire Majora's Mask randomizer run. I kind of want to do the same with, um, Ocarina of Time. I had to learn to do some, like, weird tricks on the fly to skip to some places. It was cool. I really want to do another one, but <laughs> there's gonna be- take so long, they gotta be, like, a big event. Okay. Yeah, Ocarina, the Ocarina of Time one's made by different people than the Majora's Mask one. So the Ocarina of Time one has, like, options like Pot Sanity, where, like, individual pots can have, like, different items. Sounds wild. I most only really played the Triforce runs, but I'll do a full run, like, when I do a real one, you know what I mean? Same with something for Link to the Past. Link to the Past one's great. Oof, it's too heavy to move. Okay, I guess I need to come back with the dungeon item. Get them thwomps. Get that there. This has to be guaranteed bombs. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Hang on a second. Okay, I can go down. I haven't done that yet. Just watch the giant spinning blades. Oh, that thing is still there. I gotta move elsewhere. Out of bounds, rupees. I think he was Zora Link. He can get out of bounds in certain places with his messed up attack animation. What's interesting about Zora Link and Majora's Mask is that, like, He's really tall compared to, like, uh, Young Link and all the other transformations. So if you set a bomb in a certain spot and let yourself explode, you can fall to a ledge that Zora Link can grab, but uh, regular Link can't. So you can cheese so many item checks with that. It's un unreal how useful it is. Okay. It's time to use the keys now, but let's just take out the enemies. Like, Zora Link is, I think, technically taller than Adult Link from Ocarina of Time, maybe? Okay, I need the shield for this. I don't need the shield. Probably better just use the sword, honestly. Oh well. Can't pick that up yet. The spike beetles are the one with shields, yeah. They give you bombs in case you didn't get the boomerang, but can these guys- Boomerang kill these guys? No, it can stop them. Okay. Okay, I got him. So sad, we got him. You got the power bracelet. Now, I know it's supposed to be a- I can see the shape of a bracelet, but every time I see this, it looks like some kind of pastry. Like, am I alone in that? Just this, the way the sprite of the power bracelet always looked to me. A croissant. Yes, it is. The power croissant. Okay. 
Got a little greedy there. I gotta watch my hits. There we go. Let me see if there's any hearts below this. Nope. Oh, there's rupees there. Tiny rupee. Alright. Death beep can be annoying, but... Oh. Alright. I didn't get a chance to hit that snake. Oh well. This is fine. Not like I lose much by dying. Sneak attack snake. Okay. Yeah, it's called Snake's Remains because the shape is meant to look like a snake, I, I guess. Kind of just confused. How do- why is those two d rooms over there? Is there a way for me to get into them? A bump a wall? It's probably like, uh, stairs or something I use, right? Like little underground thing. Always important to top up my seeds. I keep bumping into the snakes and hitting too early. Did I not get this? Ah, I guess I didn't. Oh well. Kind of useful. Really interesting. It's like nice to have the uh, compass back again after Phantom Hourglass. Fan For those that didn't see it, Phantom Hourglass... Gosh, I'm getting hit again. I gotta be careful. Phantom Hourglass doesn't have a compass. Because the game is built around, like, the DS touchscreen letting you write notes, they don't want you to have a compass that shows you where everything is, right? Um, so they have, like, this gossip stone that's like, hey, I can tell you where, uh, all the chests are on this floor for a certain amount of rupees, and then he marks them, and you're supposed to write that down. But I literally never used it once, because it's so unnecessary. They should have just kept the compass, honestly. Damn it, I still got bumped. Oh well. Anyways, I'm back where I am. Let me try not to die. It's easy to get impatient with games like these, because you feel like you're powerful with this sword hitbox. Let's go this direction first. Oh, right, I have to hold A to actually use the bracelet for this. Okay, push. Oh, I'm up here. Got a seed. If I turn it winter, I won't be able to climb back down, but... Uh, what's this? Is this leading me to... Yeah, these two rooms here. Okay. I really like Phantom Hourglass. It's always was one of my favorites. I enjoyed playing it again, but... There, it de there's definitely some crust from it, for sure. Especially when they're doing that one part where you gotta draw, quickly draw, like, an eight shape to, like, stop time. It, it, that one just does not cooperate half the time. Greetings, here's a deal. Ten bombs for 30 rupees. Here's another deal. Go away. <laughs> there we go. Alright. That's why he sells bombs. Just pick a direction and go. I remember, yeah, I remember when I drew a, a Triforce in the worst possible way, and it looked so awkward, and somehow the game accepted it, but not the really good Triforce I drew. That was funny. I don't need to buy bombs. Wait, what? What, what, why did it disappear? Huh? Was this timed? Is it gonna... Oh, boy. I can see why he's here now. Alright, I'll buy. They're not gonna let me farm bombs here easily. Yeah, let's go. Okay. go. Yeah, I absolutely needed that. How annoying. What if I didn't have rupees, huh? 
thought that was gonna be for like an extra item or whatever. Oh well. I mean, he certainly set up his shop in a smart place. He saw the puzzle, he's like, ho ho ho, I see a business opportunity. Level two, snakes remains. Oof, it's too heavy to move. Now that we did all that, put that there. Let us go on a big adventure. I keep bumping into these lads every time. Three bombs there. Okay, I need the bracelet for this now. Oops. <laughs> that was an accident. Yeah, it is annoying how you have to equip the power bracelet in this game, whereas like in most other Zelda games, it's just like a passive thing that's always on when you get it. There we go. I mean, like, Link's to the Past, for crying out loud, had that as a passive thing. Ten rupees. Especially when there's so few buttons to use, and you always want to have your sword on one of them. That's annoying. Oh, damn. Didn't work out too bad. Guess I got my hearts. I'm good. It's only level two for crying out loud. We'll be fine. Oh, it's this guy. He was like a late boss in uh, Link's Awakening, right? I even mentioned that I remember seeing him in Seasons or Ages. I think I have to bomb the floor for him. Yeah, there we go. Too bad I can't hit the bombs to, uh, like, explode them early. All right, I walked into the thing. Okay. Only way to go is this way. We're nearing the end. That only other chest has to be the boss key. And I got the other uh, key, so I'm good. Let's get the bracelet. Tried to pick that one up again, but oh well. Oh, those things. Sorry, chat. We gotta take out the bunnies. The bunnies have gotta go. Sorry, chat. These bun buns are not friends. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, finally. So, that opened that. Oh, I see. Mystery seeds. When the mouth opens, attack from within. Then superhuman strength will prevail. There's the boss door, so I need to go back the other way to get the boss key. But if I go up from above, it's just going to... Oh, it might lead me to the chest room. I need to look up here first and see what the what this is about. Ugh. Okay, here's where the last key gets used. Hang on. I got the boomerang, so I know I can do this. Yeah, you can turn those guys into fairies, which is amazingly good. Even if you can, like, skip some of the boomerang checks with the bombs, boomerang doing that is too good. Okay. This has to be the boss key room. I am bumping into these lads like wild. I mentioned I have a lot of memories with Oracle of Seasons. Like, it was one game I would play a lot on the Game Boy when I was, like, at my grandma's house. And, like, I mentioned playing a lot of Zelda games at my grandma's house when I was young. I remember I would have this, like, weird tradition of, like, uh, just kind of playing games. Like, um... 
Well, watching like the Super Mario Brothers movie on like rerun over and over because we had that VHS. That was fun. Let's go over here first. Chest is almost that way. It was terrible, but I liked it for nostalgic comfort and nothing else. Okay, let's get back over here. It's Mario, Mario, and Luigi Mario. Okay, so now that I've done that, uh... Does it really set anything... Crap. Now it has to be, like, reset or whatever. It was fine before, but now it's messed up. Great. Go around again, and then go around again. That's all you can do. From what I understand about that old Mario movie is that the directors, um... They, the only Mario game they played before they made it was Mario Golf on the NES. Or just NES Golf. I don't think it had Mario in the title. So, And they thought that Daisy was supposed to be the main princess or something, and that's why Daisy was the main, char main princess character in that one. It's so weird. Oh, it's Dodongo. Oh, no, that's not the power brace. That's Boomerang. Throw them on the spikes. Yeah, get them. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, open your mouth. Only, one of the only times you don't want to have the sword is one of the items. Yeah, got him. You got a heart container. Nice. Two dungeons, chat. It's only been just under an hour and a half. Not bad. They look like really shallow spikes, yes. Hey, chat! We got the Phantom Hourglass again. The gift of time, an essence of nature. Seeds sprout as seasons change with the gift of time. I feel like all of these items I'm picking up are just like some random trinket, and then like someone's gonna come in and be like, the real the real power was the one you gained overcoming the dungeon, or some crap like that. That's what they sound like. Thank you, Link. I too received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt of school swamp out west. Something is afoot there, but I can't see- I can see no more. Alright. Put that there. So now I can come up here. Oh, what am I doing? I need the Rod of Seasons first. The mushrooms are, like, made of stone, so you can't do anything there. Ice physics. Now, what's that? It's like the magnetism thing, I think. Is this meant to be a hint that there's something there? A thing to bomb, perhaps? No, it's just basically telling me, yeah, get in there for something. I think you can dig up the mushrooms now. Anyways, the swamp was to the north. This is obviously my shortcut back to town. I need to bump into her every time, I feel. You eventually get something by doing it enough, right? Oh, okay, I thought she was eventually gonna gravitate towards me. 
Just a fairy fountain, who cares? That's that there. Winter doesn't change that much. Need spring power. Need winter power to cross that. What's over here? I already got the doll from her, yeah. Okay, this is just this area. Does have to be winter for me to go back to town then. Back we go! Hang on, just set my drink down. Let's go. Look at me, beating multiple dungeons in Oracle of Seasons without swearing like a sailor. Well, nowadays, YouTube wouldn't let me do that anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of those old playthroughs where I used to swear all the time are, like, super demonetized for sure. Give me that. Is there anything else down here? No, it's just snow and that. I haven't been over here, actually, so let's check this. Good teddies don't swear. They don't. There we go. You don't want to make the bears or Moomin cry, chat. You want to give them a hug. Oop that. Oh, it sounds good right now. There we go. My mom has been, like, baking these, like, protein muffins with blueberries and chocolate chips. They're, like, made with, like, out any, like, sugar aside from, like, the, uh, like, the low-sugar chocolate chips, of course. They're pretty decent. I actually really like them. I've been having them, like, for a bit, and, like, whenever I try to have, like, uh, any other kind of sweet now, it just tastes too, way too sweet for me now. I can't really go back. I've gotten too used to them. There we go. Do 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 do. Yep, it's the Song of Storms. Go round, go round. If I could just oil it, it would go around more quickly. He wants oil. And back we go. Now what's this? There we go. Not getting anything. This is just the point where you fall down after getting whatever that is. Well, I know it's a heart piece, but I don't know how to get to it yet. Is there a way up? Oh! The snow lets me get it. Alright, perfect. Lucky me for exploring. Two now. Hearts will be important for the later dungeons. I, I recall that the, the final boss fight was really annoying. I don't mean like the linked game final boss. Like how it works is that when you beat one game, Seasons or Ages, you get a password to input at the start of the next playthrough for the other game. And if you finish a password playthrough of the second game, it lets you do the true ending where you bet where you fight Ganon or something. Let me see here. That's all just that now. Very few iframes in this game. Do you mean like few compared to Link's Awakening or just in general? Like did that also apply to Link's Awakening or what? I should have a seed ready to pop in the northern part. Let's go get that. I already got some important overworld items. This is good. I wonder if I can shovel up any of that for a secret. It's easy to bump into enemies. I keep doing that with the snakes. A ring. Alright, not super important to worry about that. Hang on. Was there a secret here before? No. There's a river Zora, causing trouble. Um... Was there anything over here I needed? Oh, right, these rocks. They gotta be the next way to go. Now, is this spring or summer? Let's have a look around, chat. 
You got scent seeds. Their smell attracts monsters. Open your seed satchel to use them. They're smelly seeds, chat. Spool Swamp, Blano's Gym. Okay, Mr. Crab. No heart. There we go. I'm the legendary champ, Blano. You want something? Then earn it in the ring. Will you bet 10 rupees? Okay. Haha, <laughs> you'll learn. Listen up. We trade punches till one of us gets knocked out of the ring and no items. You break the rules once. The next match is 20 rupees. And no rings, only fists. Got it? Got it. You ready? Come on. Uh, I don't have boxing gloves, so I can't do anything. Oh no, I can hit him. I think. Okay. I just have to do it when he has this thing raised like that. Oh, I lost! Your fists are golden, kid. You're the new champ. Here, take these. You got Ricky's gloves. Yo, champ, you come to fight? The purse is 30 rupees. Will you bet 10 rupees? Nah. Haha, <laughs> that was smart. Alright, I got Ricky's gloves. I knew, knew I needed to get these. These on. I hate the pea hats, they're so annoying. Can't go up here. Whoop you. You're not getting me. There we go. Now, where is Ricky? Hang on, let me check south first. Or any extra stuff, because I feel like this isn't the way to go. Yeah, it's not. Oh, hi, Vampy. I missed you. Missed your greeting there. Where am I going? There he is. I'm Ricky. Spool Swamp is my backyard. If you go south from here... Back around and ba uh, back up. There it is. I go with you, but I can't do a thing without my gloves. A guy named Blano took them when I lost a match on him. Those are my gloves. You brought them back? Thank you. But if you beat Blano, you must be tough. What's your name? Link? Cool name. I'm Ricky. Nice to meet you. Here. Take this flute. You need me. Just play the flute. I'll try to find you. Ricky's flute. Ricky will come to your aid when you play it. First, I'll take you to Spool Swamp. Get in my pouch. Press A to punch or save power to unleash a tornado. I can also jump small holes or cliff. All right, chats, now I'm in a kangaroo. So I believe he's, his name is Ricky, as a reference to Rocky, like, uh, you know, the movie about the boxer, Rocky Balboa. I've never actually seen those movies, but... Here we go. No, you cannot make that jump. Yeah, send a tornado punch. Look at him hop. Do the kangaroo hop. If you move towards a hole, I'll just jump right over. I can clear one hole easy. Give it a try. Kirby didn't have a kangaroo. That was a hamster named Rick. There we go. Punch, punch. out for a second here. Oh, it's so hot. Even sitting by my prize soothing pool doesn't help. I need something creepy to send chills down my spine. Oh my, that doll. It's so ghastly. It gives me chills. Let me have it. Okay. Smart boy. Here, take this fine iron pot. Did I meet someone that needed an iron pot? Looks well seasoned. What? Wasn't my thanks enough? If you can swim, take a dip. Seems kind of dangerous to have half your house be a pool like that. A cliff like that is one leap. I'll jump if you move up to it, so give it a try. 
go. It's flooded, yeah. Hop out. Time ruins, spool swamp. I remember the ruins giving me a bit of trouble last time. Damn, we're getting all the seeds right away. You got Pegasus Seeds. They'll make you as quick as the Legendary Steed. Open your Seed Satchel and use them. Do I have all the Seeds? Damn, I have all of them? That was fast. I only did two dungeons. And I got almost half the inventory. Good progress today, I'll say. There's five. Oh, it looked like it was full. Hang on, why is there a sign leading to another sign? I need to check this. Must be red. My secret. Read in summer when vines grow. Oh my god, get in it. <sighs> I took too much damage just trying to read that damn sign. There's that dude. Hang on. I absolutely need hearts. Thank you. Ah, that scared me. Go inside, go inside. You want in the swamp? Well, actually, I lost the key to open the floodgates. Oh, look, I found it. You got the floodgate key, now you can open the floodgates. Oh, that's where I left it. That should open the floodgates. Chat, I get the feeling that this key might open the floodgates. You can get to the keyhole from that puddle outside. Yeah, hang on a second. I need to get a drink of water, too, so let me just stand up and stretch, too. I have been at my desk a little too much lately. Hang on. I had to take care of a bunch of stuff for uh, the last few days, as many of you know. And I've kind of just been at my desk trying to, like, catch up on some work stuff. Alright, Ricky, I guess this is where we part ways for now. Blue seeds will give you speed. Uh, right, I have to put it back and then do that. There we go. No, I need the power bracelet. What am I doing? I keep going to the boomerang first, because they look kind of similar at a glance. Was there something up over here? No. No. Why would they let me come up here? What's the angle they're going for? Guess it's nothing. Escape route? Probably, yeah, so I can reset the room. It's probably all it is. I'm overthinking it. There we go. Push that up because we can. One of these rocks is gonna get up, I just know it. Okay, we're good. I just realized, wasn't there something in town I needed to, like, move a rock? No, it's, like, slightly to the east of town. I can get a heart piece if I go back for that. Yeah, I gotta remember to do that now. What am I at for heart pieces? Also, I just realized he unequipped my ring when I did the, uh, boxing match. Got two. Make a save. Oh, I hit him, too. Oh, well. He dropped a heart. Okay. Floodgate thing should be over here. The animal buddies are cool for five minutes, and then you, like, never use them again. That's something that's pretty, uh, unanimous when it comes to this stuff. Alright, I'm gonna plant that there. Reminder- Remind me to get that later, because it could be a heart piece. Let me share some wisdom. South of the floodgates is a strange vortex. Seems to be linked to another world. I offered my wisdom, so buy something. A shield for 50 rupees. No. 
and be gone. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Hope you're all having a wholesome little day. Every day is wholesome when you got Coco and a plushie. Yeah, this is Dungeon 3. Just as I, Sakura, predicted, the time has come when a new power of seasons is needed. This means you must find a doorway to the Subrosian land and go to the Temple of Seasons. Let me check over here first. Yeah, that's the dungeon. I need to make it summer where the vines will grow, so I need to go back to Sabrosia for that. Ricky's gone now. Well, spending time at work does suck, I know. I used to work retail. This is my job now, so, you know. There we go. I can at least be happy about that. Um... Oh, right. They, those get eaten by Chain Chomps and Link's Awakening, so I don't have to worry about that. Can't go there yet. Not sure if I wanted to make it winter yet, so let's look around. There's the portal. No Bow Wow in this game. Yep, looks like they want me to make it winter for sure. I didn't miss something, did I? Yeah, it has to be winter. So I can walk down over there. Let us go and ride. Ice physics. Whoa. I love walking on slippery ice, chat. It's so fun. Nice crack in there. Ah, darn it. I slip and slid into my death. Oh. Wait, so I can't cross that in the, in the winter? Okay, then. What am I looking for over here, then? Oh, the snow. Uh, the snow didn't change much there. Alright, let me look around again. I'm sure I'm missing something. Ricky can't hop over that. If only we could just let the Cub Chews come help us, but unfortunately, this isn't the right universe for that. They're all up in the map. Oh, okay, that was annoying and a little cheap. Out of the way there. Let me look around over here. Tracking for nothing. Maybe I need Ricky after all for something. Let's call him. I'm sure I'm missing something obvious. Oh, right. I can hop up these with Ricky. I forgot. I just completely forgot about that, because I just did it once, and it doesn't look like you... really doesn't look like he can do that. Oh, well. There we go. Would Ricky get along with the teddies? Of course. Everyone gets along with teddy urses. Except bad moomins. There we go. If you don't get along with the Teddy Ursus chat, we can't be friends. Sorry, but that's just how it is. There we go. You will be banished to the Shadow Realm by me. Okay, we're back here. Rosa's key can open any door, even ones in the temple. Rosa the pop star has been seen around here a lot lately. Lately, Sabrosia's market has begun carrying lots of weird things. I think they get it from all the temple. The 
market. If you want something, we can trade. Rare Peach Stone. I'll trade for 20 Ore Chunks and 10 Ember Seeds. Three Peaches. I'll trade for 10 Ore Chunks. 10 Ore Chunks. I'll trade for 20 Gale Seeds. Oh, Gale Seeds are the Quick Warp item. Yeah, I remember those now. I need, I'm gonna need the bow. A cute Ribbon. I'll trade for a Star-Shaped Ore. How about it? Okay, that's a unique item. Man, I'm moving through this game a lot faster than I was expecting to. It's going good. Very good, chat. So yeah, you use different currency in Sabrosia. I could def I definitely feel like I could tackle a randomizer of this game. There we go. Although if I play it after I play Ages, I'm just gonna be confused and have to learn the game again. Every tile must be dug up. Need Rose to open that. Let's go. There's ore in them damn hills, chat. I want to have at least 30. Come on. Hey, a peach. Well, that sucks. All right, let me go get the peach-shaped stone. Rare peach stone. I'll trade for 20 ore chunks and 10 ember seeds. You got a piece of heart. I like how he holds it upside down, too. Check them on the subscreen. If you want something, we can trade. Not used to hearts healing after Castlevania. Yeah, it gets to you after a while. You get used to it. Man, I want to do some more Castlevania. I did a lot last year, but I just have not felt in the mood for a lot. Oh, damn, I found a good one. Rumors tell of precious red ore and blue ore. If you mix the two, you get unbelievably hard ore, but it's a secret. Konami's never gonna make a new game, sadly. Instead, I'll just have to play the randomizers 10,000 times. Still been meaning to check out ROM hacks for months, though. Even ones I've played before, like Dawn of Dissonance, where it's like continues Juice Story and Dawn, Dawn of Sorrow's Engine. That one was great. I gotta play it again. There's like a lot of indie Metroidvanias popping up, too, I wanna play. I kind of, like, wanted to make it a goal this year to play a lot more indie games. I've kind of been doing some of that on my own time as well. Like, I've been playing Celeste, and I really loved it. I'm kind of just working on the B-side levels now. Oh! I didn't think I'd find it so quickly. Maybe you can trade it for something special. You can find Star-Shaped Door in the sands around here. Okay, let's go get the ribbon. Konami did say they have a new games out this year. Well, we know Silent Hill 2 remakes a thing. Which I'll, I'm cautious about. Seed ring for 30 ore chunks. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Appraise it later and never use it. You got a ribbon. Nice. Not expecting anything good from them, but new stuff coming, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm more looking forward to Resident Evil 4 than Silent Hill 2, though. We'll see how that those turn out. Spoiler alert, both of them will get demonetized on YouTube now. I heard Rosa lost her ribbon. I'm looking for something else that she'll like. I would still love to do a new Silent Hill this month. There we go. Playing original Silent Hill 2 was great, but hang on. I wish I could go on a date with Rosa. She just, just once, but how do I get her interested? Three was a little weird, and four, I, I had to stop because, like, the second half of the game was just why. One long escort mission. And it just made me go, oh, no. One was good. I like one. All Every Silent Hill game is, like, really different from each other, though. Not just gameplay and controls, like I mean like tone and what they try to do with the story. 
Okay. I'm gonna give Rosa something she likes so she'll date me. So ladies, does that work? Just give you something you like and then you're dated? Probably works for me. Just give me stuff. Give me video games. There we go. Rose's mystical necklace opens locked doors. Celebrities get the best toys. Here we go. What a cute ribbon. Is it for me? Nope. Oh, I, like, want a ribbon. What a cute ribbon. Wow, like, thank you. Since you're so nice, I'll go on a date with you. Let's go look in that temple. All right, chat, it's time for a date. Let's go. They date eating now, chat. There we go. You can just bribe me with Teddy Ursus. <laughs> Rumors tell of precious red ore. Okay, that thing. Hang on. I think if you talk to the other Subrosians, they have dialogue of being jealous. Let's go do that. Let's go flex on them. Rose's key can open any door. I think it's the guys at the beach. Not this guy, though, right? You can find star-shaped door. I'm so jealous. I want to date Rosa. I want her. I want her. I want her. I wish I could go on a date with Rosa just once, but how do I get her interested? Okay, it's just that one guy, apparently. Let's go. So now that I've got her, I can go to that, like, locked door sequence, right? But hang on, did I go up here yet? This leads to... Oh, right, that. Just double-checking what's around first. That's that. We're going on a date. We're not doing anything, though. I'm just, like, walking and she's following me. What a date. There we go. How romantic. You can tell she's a cute girl because she has a ribbon. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's why she's so sad about losing her ribbon, because she lost her identity. Digging around for ore chunks, digging down for more chunks. Only girl in Sabrosia. Is she like Smurfette then? Who knows? Uh, which one was locked? You weren't here before. The ore is all in chunks. Right, this one. It'd be funny if there's like some glitch you could do where you could just like, uh, take her with you into dungeons. Like, does her key actually work in dungeons if you could do that? That'd be funny. What a date. I'm gonna show you the power of summer. You have come, adorable hero. Don't flirt with me, I'm on a date! I am the spirit of summer. In summer, vines grow tall and creeks dry up. Remember that. Ancient Hyrulean legends say the hero destined to overthrow evil has a triangle on his left hand. Perhaps you are this hero. Now I grant you the power of the spirit of summer. Why is Rosa a passive item for the key, but not the power bracelet? <laughs> the Rod of Seasons has been blessed with a summer day. Climb atop a stump to call forth summer. Nothing to say? Just unlocking some mystical, magical, ancient power, but you know... That's not cool enough for you. We got sun stuff. Easiest escort mission ever. The best escort missions are where the person you're escorting actually does useful things and doesn't trail behind you, like, by five steps. So now that I've done that, uh... I guess I go back to the portal down south. Do that. I hope she doesn't ask me to take a lava bath. That would be very awkward, because I would die. There we go. 
Everybody's staring at me. Now, where was that portal again? Um, right here it is. So, I'm just not gonna say goodbye? Alright. Damn, I'm terrible. No kiss, goodnight, or anything. <laughs> Let me hop over here. Oops. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, come on. I keep walking directly on it every time. Let's have a look here. So that can dry up. Let me just find a stump. Link can talk. He can say yes or no when prompted. Crap. Oh, come on. I was in the load screen. Damn. I dodge damage on these things while keeping Ricky. I gotta go back and hit the stump now. Then I gotta make it summer and come back. That's all there. Hang on, where was the stump? Can I get hearts from this? Nope. I know I need ember seeds, though, after dealing with him. Hang on, I should probably try and dig up hearts or something. Enemies do kind of, like, rack up the damage easily in this one, don't they? There we go. Very. But I'm close to completing the heart container, so it's not a big deal. Okay, that's just to hop down. Find the stump. Especially late game, yeah. I'm doing alright so far. Things okay. So unfortunately you can't select what season. You have to cycle through them, which gets really annoying when you have, uh, four of them. Okay, it's summer now. I don't think Link eats the fairies. That would be bad. I usually have trouble telling apart summer and spring in this game, but it's different, so it must be the thing, right? Okay, that's that there. Do the little bunny hop. There you go. Alright, take my time against... Oh, that one's yellow. Hit it, please. Die already. Alright, it didn't drop anything. What's the point of that? Shiny got away, chat. I thought it was gonna drop, like, a big thing of rupees or something? I don't know. Whatever. I'm still at full health. I'm oh, impatient with those things. Oh, I still can't get that? Huh. So I came all the way here and nothing changed. Oh, great. Why did I do that then? Ugh. I made it a different season than the one it was before, which was... Wait, wasn't it autumn? I can't make it spring, right? Right? Oh, well. Summer right now, and said that's the one where things dry up, so I thought maybe that would move it. Oh, well. Guess not. Alright, let's just go enter the dungeon, I guess. I got what I need. No 
big deal. Just hop in the kangaroo. I'll figure it out later. No heart piece for me. Level 3, Poison Moth Slayer. Alright, chat, let's do it. Oh, right, I remember this. I remember being really frustrated because if you didn't have the shield at, by this point, you had to go back and get one, right? This is like the first room in the game where you have to, you, know, you have to have a shield with you to go to like those places. And I think this thing tells you how to hit them. Good defense is the best offense against spikes, yeah. Okay. Wait, the shovel works on them too? No way. Does it? Does it? I'm curious about that. It has to be timed properly. Let me give that a shot then. I was gonna reset. And really? It doesn't let me just go back in? Oh, come on. That's annoying. Summertime! The sun symbol means summer. I'm gonna try it. You didn't know that was gonna happen, it's fine. I just wanna test it. I'm gonna get hit a few times, but... Holy crap, it works. I'm taking hits, but... I did not know that, that's amazing. <laughs> that's funny. That's gonna be important info for a randomizer. So, good thing we know that now. Well, it might- it might be handy, but it's a little trick to know things like that. I need Rock's Feather for that, so it's gonna be the dungeon item. Well. Still safer to just use the shield, but it's cool that you can do that. Um... Can I throw that on it? You know, it doesn't look like that does anything. Need the jump to get that. I remember something that was really annoying about Link's Awakening is that, um... If you accidentally try to push something without a power bracelet, it, um... Oh, I see. I gotta push the pot. Okay. If you try to push something without the power bracelet, the message for it is really, like, long... a lot longer than it should be, so it's really annoying. This is not a good room for these guys. They removed that in the remake? Good thing. Uh... And now it dawns on him. <laughs> needs to be from this side. Okay. Hang on, does Boomerang work on those two? Yes, it does. Perfect. I can stun these guys with the Boomerangs, too. These guys were shy guys in uh, Link's Awakening, but they got rid of the Mo Mario monsters. It's over here first. That's gotta be for uh, the seeds. Oh. Okay, then. I probably gotta have the feather to go with that. Okay. In that case, let's go the stairs now first. Oh, they're in Link's Awakening, but different. Oh, chat bunnies! Night. No, Boomerang just doesn't even do anything to him. Sorry, chat. Bunny time. Bun Bun's gonna die. I don't make the rules. Okay, they're gone. Bunnies are small little friends that deserve pats on the head. However, they're dangerous creatures as well. Okay, make a mental note of this pattern, chat. Did you do that? Did you write it down? Like it's Phantom Hourglass? I guess I pushed them? Oh no, I have to... 
make them ma make it match. I see. Never mind. I thought I had to copy it for the next room or something. Okay, I get you. I get you. Okay. That's the case. Uh, how do I do that then? Uh, how do I get down there without? Right, this. Okay. I already messed it up by putting that one there. Damn it. Can't pull that one now. Obviously, this can just go down like that. Okay. I had it stuck. Yeah, obviously, I think we can just start by doing it like that. Um... Gosh, I feel like it's stupid obvious, but I've just not immediately seen the answer. Um... Crap. <laughs> I can't think! I can't pull! I had it perfect, but I moved this one over there and then I messed it up completely. I'm gonna move it in a spot where I can't, like, move anything else. There's the boss door. Okay, everything's fine. The boomerang out. What's over here first? Dead end. Turtle turtles. I don't have a key. That must be it. Nope. 30 rupees, that's nice. That's the area near the start. I haven't found the compass or anything. Killing all the enemies give me something? Ah, oh, great. Gonna wait for it to land now. Nope. Looks like I'm gonna have to, damn it. I'm not getting over there without the feather. I'm gonna backtrack a bit now. No, I haven't even found the compass or map yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that puzzle again. Great. Went the wrong way first. That one didn't move, though. That means it only works by coming backwards through that. It's annoying. Need to be able to jump there. Morning, welcome. That chest could be a key. There we go. And this is just the exit. Ugh, I thought this would be a way forward. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm going back to it. Move, bunny. 
Damn it. The bunny is, in fact, not going to move. You were lasting quite a while for a Moldorm. What? Ten bombs? Why? Obviously for this here, but why? Oh, there's the map. I probably should pick up those pots and see if I can get stuff. I need hearts. I need hearts. Okay, seeds, I'll take that. Ugh. Sword does nothing to him. Alright, need to make my way back now. the red one. And now run through this. It wasn't too far up ahead, I think. I'm pretty much all, almost back now. Take this. Don't worry about getting hit by them. Oh dear. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where the hell did that one go? Give me the chest. You got Rock's Feather, you can now jump. I still got hit. Damn, I tried to be greedy. This is what I get. Ah. There's that quick exit back to the start on the side there, but I want to go over here. Just gotta get rid of them and stop being impatient with them. Okay, here we go. Fall down here. Alright, that was a very fortunate uh, accident, and I can't get that now. Looks like I gotta go back. Close. Thank you. Please stop the beeping. There we go. If there's one thing I don't like about old Zelda games, it's the death beat. There we go. Alright, go for the middle one. Okay. Well, that sucked. Lame. Let's try again. What? Why did I not carry forward on that one? Did I hit the ceiling or what? Ugh. Jeez. I just didn't go forward when I did that. Okay, there we go, finally. And down there. This is still more dungeon music than Phantom Hourglass had. Phantom Hourglass had, uh, like, 
the same four notes repeating over and over in every single cave and dungeon, and that's my easily my least favorite part about that game. They clearly had to cut music in order to uh, fit everything else on that uh, DS card. Jumping up and on will send you even higher. Okay. Am I supposed to push these? Or am I supposed to make a note of them? He found the compass! Use it to track your stuff! I think I- I wait a second, I know what to do. Push this thing, that's right. Yeah, let's get him. Ah. Oof, it's too heavy to move. Not if I can help it. Need the... There we go. Gotta use two items now again. They're actually thinking about it. What is this, just to go back? Yeah, it's just to go back. There we go. Hang on. Oh, that's that chest over there. I can't get that. I gotta go somewhere else. I gotta push that to get it. I see. And that tile there. Oh, further down. What am I doing? Push, push! These are slow and annoying. They remind me of, like, uh, the, pu the puzzles Blue Kaizo does with the boulders. Pop you. You got a key! Okay, this is this now. No, I went too fast. Oh well. Ooh. Damn it, I did it again. I jump in place instead of moving forward. What gives? I'm holding the side, come on. I did it again. I keep not waiting for it to go all the way up. What's wrong with me? Wait! Ooh, 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 ooh. Bonk the ceiling. Here we go. Ah. Okay. Hang on. Did I miss? Did I miss that notification again? Let me see here. Oh yeah, it, it blends in. Sorry. Let me get a drink. <laughs> yeah. I swear I'm not picking on you, Dex. It just seems like your ones always get buried when you redeem them, like, every time. They don't stick out enough. I... I, I need to, like, check the settings, see if they can highlight more. There we go. I took a drink of water, don't worry. And yes, fix the posture, too. Okay, yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally slid too close to it. Oh, well, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, we gotta shield these guys now. Boop. Pop you. Get your ass over here. Yay. Hang on one second, let me get across this gap first. Again, I've been sitting down way too much trying to catch up on work, because all the stuff going on. Just get rid of you, lads. Yeah, let me stand up and fix things. Standing up periodically and stretching when you're at a desk all the time is super important for your back health. Might not feel feel a difference now, but you will, kids. When you get older, 
you die if that happens, right? I don't know. Now I'm just sounding like I'm scaring you. Oh my god, I keep doing it. Sometimes I keep holding forward to jump and I just like stop. Like, is it my controller or is the game just weird with that? Because it only seems to be when I'm jumping in these sections. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're just weird after all. Okay. Let's try again. Wait a second. Don't get too antsy here. I'm gonna move this again. Ah, not really an opportunity for me to get more health, is there? Those statues there are just for, like, fixing your, uh, po like, position for these? I don't know. Hearts. No. Well, here we go again. I didn't hit a- I haven't hit a midpoint yet, annoyingly enough. Yeah, I can't do that. I have to take the long way. Oop. Let me get through this part again. Oh my god, if I go all this way and I just die. I already got the chest. I already got the chest. Hang on. I need these guys to drop parts. Crying out loud. No! Okay. Oh, they're not gonna drop it, are they? Can't afford to mess this one up now. See? Easy. Just had to focus. Oh, wait. I'm back here? This was just a shortcut to the entrance? Oh my god. I could have just... Oh. Well, that, that's frustrating. Alright then. Teddy is upsetty. You're darn right that upsets the bears. <laughs> I could have just, on that first death, just walked back to it. Beep beep. See? That's where I jumped over to get there. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Alright, let's go back now. <laughs> Why have they set it up like that? Let's get over here now. Okay, move this here. Can't pick it up to throw. Eventually it seems like they stop coming. Did I need to? Right, this is what I need this for. Need to use these. I didn't equip the damn feather. Thought I had that on. Come on. This sure lasts a long time. Not quite enough. No, I just need to jump over the button. I'm overthinking it. I'm absolutely overthinking it. <laughs> I thought I had to get a running start and make that jump there. Okay. You see, I wasn't the only one thinking that, huh? Oops. Let me see what this gets me. In water. 
water, it is invincible. Okay, then. Then we drain the water. Easy as that. Okay, let's get this. You got a seed. I didn't hear the compass beep for uh, that room. Is that because it's a seed? Okay. How many dungeons are in this game again? Like, is there eight and then final boss? Or is it seven and final boss? I don't remember how it goes. Uh, I got the feather here, so that must be the item I gotta use. Did I not get a mini boss warp in this dungeon? I don't think I did, huh? In water, it's invincible. How do I drag it out? Am I hopping over it, or what? Usually you gotta use the dungeon item for these things. Maybe I gotta pull it out with power bracelet, I guess. Seems I can get close enough without contact damage. Yep. Yep, alright, they just maybe use the power bracelet again, weirdly enough. Too close. Gotta be careful with my movement against these guys. Okay. Okay. I'm probably gonna die here if I'm not careful. At least this boss isn't, like, stupid easy like all the other ones. I kind of get... The way it moves is definitely easy to hit you. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, that- wait, wait, that was the mini-boss? Oh, I thought that was the boss. I guess I didn't use the big key, so I should have thought about that, but... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Twilight Princess did really warm me up for easy bosses as well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the rest of the dungeon I had to explore. Here we go. Okay, obviously I jump across that. Check the far one out first. I guess I can just fall down, because why the heck not? Ugh. Next to my... I should have paused the game, that thing was coming, I just wanted to get a drink. <laughs> okay. Okay, just next exit there. Is there a way for me to push that? Okay, there is. Oh. Gotta push down? I have to push the bottom ones, don't I? I see. Okay, there it is. And now I'm back to the start of the dungeon, but I can use the warp. No hearts? I need some heart drops before I do that. Keep looking at the boomerang and being like, wait, that's not it. Okay, good, hearts. Chat, you're talking about food and making me hungry now. I want food! I'll have a snack in a little while, though, it's fine. Two and a half hours, and we're almost to the end of Dungeon 3. Not bad. Uh, sorry, I probably missed it if someone mentioned how many dungeons there are. <laughs> Chat already went by too fast. Or I looked. Eight? Okay. Eight plus final boss, I believe it was. Eight and final boss, okay. Now we go this way now. It's been a while since I saved, I feel like, so just in case. Do that. All 
right, now we're going to the boss. Uh, I may, might as well see if I get something from this. Now I'm definitely gonna have to use Rock's Feather for um, the, the actual boss fight. I genuinely thought the fish was the boss. Or the three fishes were the boss. Well, it is called Poison Moth's Lair, so yeah, I probably should have, uh... Okay. Don't want to fall down. I don't know if that resets everything. Ah! Yeah, it's gonna reset his health every time I fall. It's like the opposite of Link to the Past, where you've dropped down into the arena. Come on. Oh! Okay, I gotta be careful. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't press anything, and I just went to that. Hang on. Those markings just show where the tiles are, so you can't go up if you do that. I was getting a bit of water. Refill my water after this, too. Posture check. Stretch with a little bear. I can do this. I can do this. They're waiting for me. Let them go. I wonder if the shovel would hit them from here. Okay, someone dropped something over there. All right, let's go. Oh, nice, and get heart drops from them. They want me to move around, but... Reasonably fair for the drop. It seems like if I just... If I don't jump around, it's easier to dodge and just wait for him to return to the center. Damn! That was actually pretty clean once I figured that out. Nice. Small moth. Sorry, Vampy, the moth had to die. You got, uh, that thing. You got the bright sun, an essence of nature. Young shoots grow quickly under the warm rays of the bright sun. I got a lamp? Is that why a moth guards it? It's just a lamp? I wonder if that was intended. Ha! <laughs> ah, thank you, Link. I too feel the bright sun. I dreamt of the waterfall on the mountain north of Sunken City. Perhaps the next essence is near there. Alright, wonderful. Alright, now we've done that. Um... The Gasha Nuts should have grown, right? So let me go get the- let me go check that. One on the over thing here. Hope it's good. And I can't remember where the other one is. There we go. It's very specific for that. Ah. Pop out. A ring was inside. Damn. Not what I wanted. I could take Sabrosia as a quick way back, but there's another Gasha tree on the way back. Alright, this is fine. I'm just taking the long way now, that's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing, apparently. I think it was near where I used the key. How did I get up there again? Was it snow? I think it was snow. Come on, Ricky, let's go. No, that gap is... How did I cross that gap before, chat? I don't remember. No, I wait, I remember. I took a... I took a trip through that staircase to get there. That's what I did. 
Let me just go double check to see if that's been there. go. We're definitely gonna want extra heart pieces and stuff, so it doesn't hurt to check. Uh, okay. Move that there. Move that there. Everything is fine. Everything is a-okay. I think there's a few different heart pieces I could maybe pick up now. This path's a lot longer than I thought. Rupees are good. Do they cap at 999 or do they go into the thousands? It goes down here. Yeah, there it is. A potion was inside. Isn't this the instant revival thing? I think it is. Fill your heart. But is it is it automatic? I think it's I think it's like automatic like a fairy in a bottle in other games. Nice that it comes bottled. There are no regular fairy bottles, yeah, so I guess that's worth it to pick up for now. Anyways, now that we've done that... I don't actually need the flute. Ricky should be over here, right? Alright, let's head back. Did the Maku tree actually say which direction to go next? My uh, my brain suddenly doesn't recall him saying anything about that. Crap. I forgot. I need to check the vines in the summer, so let me go back to the stump. Ah, what a pain. Rod of Seasons, here we go. Okay. Can only choose between that. Why is it list summer as the first one? Shouldn't it list spring first? I don't know. Well, doesn't matter. Let's just head to it. Link, you're my best customer. Take this special gift, Vasu. I visited his shop, like, once, but okay. I guess I got another ring. I may as well spend to see what these do. Can I try going to those ruins yet? There's probably something blocking the way. I'm pretty sure the ruins are a late game. We carry treasure maps. Haran shop. bump into you. I think she can take the potion if I bump into her, so I shouldn't do that. Alright, we're back here. So now that I have access to Summer, I can make the vines appear whenever I want. Right, I got the pot from her. What do I do with that? Hang on, let me see if I can burn that. Gotta be an old man telling me to pay for his door. I thank you for paying to fix my... Oh, come on. What is the point of checking these if I either get money or I don't? I hate that. Oops. Right, don't do that, me. Have I visited every part of this overworld? I have been over here. Beautiful flowers. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Just Zora's spitting at me while I try and live my life. I have Rock's Feathers, so I can clear those gaps, too. Half inventory in one stream's pretty good. At this rate, I should be alright, but... Ah, uh, who knows? L the, possibly the later streams... This is where Ricky was, but can I dig in this one spot? Nope. The later dungeons will probably take, like, like an hour or so on their own when I get to them, so who knows? Can't I just assume I'll finish the game very quickly. Okay, let's check over there. Uh, 
Okay, I found the bridge thing there. This is probably the next place to check then. But if I'm not mistaken, there should be a heart piece nearby. Out here. Where am I at? Far, far east, Sunken City. It's far, try to find a ride. Yeah, Sunken City's the next place to go. Check these. Nice. Oh, this place. Those are other ruins there. Temple remains. Oh yeah, that's where the Temple of Seasons was before it sunk. I'm trying to remember where the hell I am on this overworld. Oh, okay, I'm here now. Loop back around. Just carefully move. If I can get summer, I can climb up and burn those down. Where was the stump, though? I only just kind of passed by this place pretty quickly. You're blocking the way there, buddy. Okay, we're back here. I opened up a shortcut while I can. There's things I need to check down here anyway. It'd be fine to use some of the speed seeds. Here we go. Use it like Skooma in Oblivion. There we go. For all the Oblivion memes I know, I've not really played much of it. Aside from a tiny bit when I was in high school. I still wonder if that'd be something I should try and stream. There we go. I feel like it would probably be backseat hell, though. <laughs> now... Where on earth was that heart piece? There was one heart piece I could kind of... Almost reached before. Hang on. Let me see what this is. Let's see if there's something I can burn down over there for a door. Hopefully I don't have to pay to fix it. Me. Long playthroughs can be either hit or miss when I do them. There we go. Just not recalling where the hell it was. Just kind of wandering right now, but that's okay. Finding stuff is good for you. Oh, there's a seed thing here. I'll plant one here. Alright, chat, remind me that it's, uh, to come back for that later. I don't know what qualifies as passing the time in this game? Like, doing a dungeon, or is it like killing a certain amount of enemies that kind of makes that happen? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. I know there was a heart piece I could come back for with the, uh, the thing for. That's that there. couple of those, and this just leads back to this. Summer, I can't pick the mushrooms either. I think it has to be fall for that. Darn. They don't know where it is, huh? We'll keep looking, because there's always stuff to come back to in the overworld in this game. Okay, that's that there. That's just the fairy fountain. You there. Winter forest. Huron village. Check down this way. Okay, that's that there. It's near the village, at least I know that. The, ga the Gasha seed plant, I guess. That's you there. And that's the snowy spot you go to. And down here was what? The beach. It's winter in town now. Alright, let's appraise the rings and see what they do. 40 enemies activates a gaseous uh, tree. Okay. Do come in, welcome to the jewelers. What can I do? Appraise. Here we go. 
No, I have an official server. Just ask mods and they can probably post it. I call this the Red Luck Ring. Half damage from spiked floors. It's very specific to kind of care about that. Blue Holy Ring. No damage from Zora Fire. Eh? Octo Ring. Become an Octorok. Add to your list. I call this the Wisp Ring. No effect from Jinxes. That's what the ring is. A lot of these are just like whatever. <laughs> when you can only have one at a time, it's who cares, right? At this stage, something like that just ain't that good. I hear some animals on the wild are used to people. Maybe you can make friends. I can get that now because it's winter. Let's go grab it. There we go. Yeah, Mods, you can post it. There we go, not bad. Show that you care. Go to my server and spam teddy bears. Hang on, did I burn these down? Let's find out. I can't find where that one heart piece was in the overworld. Oh, there is something here. Oh no, please don't. Shh, don't tell. So you either get 100 or lose 100 from these. It's gonna end up losing stuff. There's an old man living in a cave outside my house. It's not very wholesome. I guess seeing scenery from all the seasons is kind of nice. Well, he's trying to be optimistic about it, at least. Now, can I do anything here? No, that's a subrosion portal and it has to be activate. The switch has to be activated from the other side. Unless there's some kind of speedrun tech that skips that. This is where the kid was. Different? Link looks a little strange. I want to take him to a doctor, but we have no rupees. Could you please lend us some? All right. How much can you lend us? Just take 150 before an old man does. You are a true Samaritan. I'm only doing this because I might get something for it later, we know. Hey Link, my boy is ill, but I still have to do something, something to teach you. The contents of a gasha nut depend on where the seed was planted. If you find a good spot, tell me. Okay. I can open that when it's fall. And the, the town itself changes here. Only be nice to people when you might get something for it. Yeah. There we go. Can I get autumn when I go in here? Okay, summer. There we go. I might be able to get that chest. I don't think there's gonna be anything good in it, but we can open it. This is very wholesome music. It sounds so cute. You can just imagine Teddy Ursus running around to it. You got 20 rupees, that's not bad. Excellent. The footprints in the snow just show you that you can walk on top of it. So now that I've done that, is there anything else I can go grab? I don't suppose anything new opened up over here. Was there something even blocking me? There's snow to shovel. It's eternally winter here. This cave is just a fairy. I'm having a look around to see if I can get something. Ah, uh, that's the bridge that, okay. Because of how samey the game can look at times, it's very easy to just be like, uh, I don't remember what to do. I don't remember where that thing was. Okay, looks like there's nothing else I can grab down here. I need to be able to, I need the slingshot so I can fling an ember seed to that bridge down there. Very easy to like, uh, forget about that though. No stump, so I can't erase the snow. We got what we needed. Hang on. I don't really want to buy those rings. Now if that's taken care of, I guess it's time to head towards the sunken city. 
You wanted a fish. I only have a pot. I don't know who wants the pot. Oh, wait, uh... Can I, like... I, I, I'm pretty sure I can't do that. I think I need the flying bear for that. Even with... No, there's no way in heck, but I'll try. Oops. Okay. I don't think you can possibly, like, angle yourself like this to reach it. No, I can't even get a jump close to it. They really don't want you cheesing the holes like you could in, um, Link's Awakening. Like, they're a lot less generous with, uh, letting you act when you're, like, gravitating near them. And down here was I need flippers. Just kind of reorient, like, getting used to, um, the overworld here. Oh, hang on. Can I cross in autumn? Don't have that season, though. Yeah. I can go here now. Finally, something. Aha! Sabrosia, but I need the flippers. That's that there. I should have noticed the ice. That would have been a good hint. Burn these trees down for gambling. Why not? Let me get that. Okay, there's that there to change the seasons. Don't need to change it yet, do I? Sabrosia portal. That's the first Sabrosia portal, that's right. I have seen that. That must be a dungeon I need. I'm gonna have to make it autumn. So I can pick those mushrooms. I'm gonna have to get another season power then. If I can get back in there. Weird how it lines up like this. We're going on a slide in the ice. Oh, come on. Nothing there. So, there's nothing over here. I just have to... I guess this isn't the right place to go right now. It's something I'm gonna have to come back to later. I don't really have a quick warp back to anywhere, though. Will melting that snow up there do anything? Looks like there might be something buried there. Another one of these. I have another seed to use. Well, darn. Okay, that's drained. Let me check this now. Stairs. Of course! Makes perfect sense. Why wouldn't I think of this? Just go deeper. Where are we going? Oh. Oh! Weird that they put that one in a chest when all the other ones in the overworld. Okay, that was worth it. Alright, I got a complete row of hearts done. I'll just take the damage and go. I'm fine. Alright. I didn't find the way to go, but that's okay. I need to go back to the northern, like, field area. And then just kind of, like, go east to the sunken city. That's, like, the next part of the game. That's where you get the flippers, I think. That's also dried up over there. Can I- how- what can I do over there? Let's find out. Okay, get out of the way. They keep bouncing me between them. I'm just trying to run by them. Oh, no, I can't do that at all, because that one shallow part- or, No, that's not shallow. One deep part, sorry. Need the flippers to get to that portal. Link never saves his items between games. There we go. 
There's nothing hidden here, is there? Rupees. Hearts. At least I completed a heart container. That's the important thing. Don't want to bother with her. Is there e even a reason for her for me to like uh, bonk into her ever again now that I've done the her part of the trade quest? Okay. Lano's gym. Oops, Lano's gym. Oh no, can't go there. Got bonked again. Yeah, the, the iframes do not last long in this. That's so annoying. Okay. Got, I got Rock's Feather, so now it's time to continue up this way. Yeah, this is where I need to go. I wanted to find more heart pieces. I only found the one, but at least the container is done. That's the important part. Okay, that's a free cave. Let's check it out. I've seen where one dungeon is as well, so that's good. Close your eyes. Mixing that. Hmm. Dungeon is five. In that other area? I probably could go up to Kangaroo, I think. Oh, great. Okay. Lads, you need to move. Alright. Yeah, it's just right here. That's the thing I saw, but it doesn't matter now. So, now that I've done that... Oh my god, move, move out of the way, I can't hit you. I have to go up there now. And that I probably need the kangaroo for. Play the tune, summon the friend. Your flute song fell flat. Oh. Can I not call him here? Maybe over here? How about that? Oh, suddenly you're over there, huh? I don't even remember where I planted my Gasha seeds. Yeah, sweet! Hit him with that projectile. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Up or down, up or down. Let's find out. Okay, that didn't count, apparently. That bush there was too low still. Okay, I can't go up that way, actually. I thought... I didn't see the water somehow. Again. Pick up that. Alright. Pretty easy to cover my hearts here. Your hitbox is pretty generous with Ricky here. Let's check this out. Love, love the seed. What a great song. Don't you agree? Yeah. Here's a human I understand. Let me fill your satchel for you. There we go. Well, that was nice of him. I thought he was gonna charge me for it, but here we are. Oh, he meant the Gasha seed. Okay. It's fine. Now entering my domain, great moblin. Uh-oh. Didn't do that yet. Great Moblin, a.k.a. Not Wart. See that? Is that a bunny symbol? That looks like a bunny symbol to me. You, boy! This is the Great Moblin's realm. If you wish to get by alive, pay my toll! What are you gonna do about it? Ew, it smells like medicine. I can't stand it. See ya. Wow. Okay. So we just- we just done like that, Ricky? Okay. Smells like medicine here. Good luck. Get your butt back here. 
Your flute song fell flat. The whole city's flooded, but since I can't swim, I'm just here blowing bubbles. Ah, you're back. Bombs away. He doesn't peace out at the sight of the cannon shooting at him, but, like, place smelling like medicine? Nah, bro, we gotta get out of there. Ah, you're back. Bombs away. Oops. Can't throw something up at him right now. Alright, let's check out the city. My pop's a master diver. He had a secret diving spot, but he never told me where it was. Stingy guy. The music for the inside of the houses is so cute. I love it. My husband was a master diver. But now he's old and he's hidden his diving gear and s gone off somewhere. Where have I heard that story before? Just, you know, the guy just abandoning his wife and child to go do something stupid. Phantom Hourglass. Legends say some sort of treasure sleeps at the summit. It's a boy's dream. I think about it so much I can't sleep. I wonder, can I check every chest now? No. That'd be funny. Let's look around. City's flooded. Uh... What do I do here again? Does one of these break? Maybe the wall there? I'm just wasting bombs now. Jumping on them, maybe? Don't remember this. Well, sure, I'll figure it out later. Ah, oh, there's the gale seeds, finally. Their gusts can take you where you want to go. Open your seed satchel to use them. So this is like using fly in Pokemon, where it kind of just warps you to points of interest. There we go. Wait, hang on a second, what's going on? Twitch is freaking out? You guys can't see the stream? Um... Okay, I'm still recording on my end, and it's displaying fine, so it must be Twitch for everyone. Other channels are having the exact same problem right now. Uh-oh. Reloaded, and it's showing again. Okay. Oh, I found something weird. Yeah, just, uh... It crashed again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a little unfortunate. <laughs> it's recording just fine right now, at least, so at least YouTube ain't seeing a black screen. Yeah, everybody just refresh. That seems to, uh, fix it right now. Oh, yeah, everybody's having this. Jeez, sorry. Oh, I found something weird. It's a monster. It came to attack the city. It did. We must protect the city. Take that. They're bullying the poor thing. Some people are saying it's starting to work again. We're the city's safety patrol. We're protecting the city. But without weapons, we're helpless. Do you have bombs? Yes. There's nothing to fear now. Let's go out and patrol. Oh. You saved me. I'm Dimitri. You can't swim? I can even swim up waterfalls. You help me now. I help you. Get on my back. I chomp when you press A, and I swim like a fish. Even up waterfalls. You can also carry me using the power bracelet. Hey, I, I carried one of you guys earlier with the power bracelet. I threw him onto uh, spikes to kill him. There we go. There's a thing up there. I think that's the witch's house. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry to hear that, chat. Seems like you're all having some issues with the website. Everyone's having issues right now. This is exactly why I always record when I stream. Because Twitch will have issues, and then if I try to import it from Twitch, it'll just ha I just have a black screen as well, and YouTube would have to see that. Shoot! That big Oron! No matter how often I ask, he won't give me his phase. 
I'd give my dinner for it. Fish. Scram. Don't touch my vases, I swear. Why does he take the long way back? Scram. Don't touch my vases. No, oh, that time he didn't. <laughs> there we go. There's Demetri right there. Chat's also glitching. It says you have no more Teddy points. Oh, no. I even swim waterfalls. Try it. It's back for you. It's back for you. Oh, jeez. Um... I wasn't- I was only gonna do a short stream today anyway. Um, I'll probably wrap it up very shortly. I can swim up waterfalls. Try it. <laughs> Try it opening Twitch on your PS4 and it's working fine. There's a nut right there. I don't have a seed. Can I go in a house with Dimitri? No, I cannot. Never mind, it died again. Okay. Well, I did just, um, it's not like I'm gonna beat a dungeon right now anyway. This is probably a good point for me to just end for the day, because this could go on for hours. I wanted to do around three hours of this anyway, so not a big deal. I was intending to maybe just get, like, the flippers or something and call the stream, but that's like ten minutes. As far as I'm concerned, Chad, this seems like a good place to stop then, since, uh, all you good little moments here can't seem to even watch the stream, because Twitch is just collectively dying for every streamer on the platform right now. <laughs> Sorry to complain about it, YouTube, but I know you guys can't see it. You're welcome. It's just, yeah, kind of a problem when, uh, <laughs> everybody watching it live can't. Anyways, we'll stop the first episode of Oracle of Seasons here. You guys can seem to hear me. Here we go. Yeah, other people are saying other streams are also not working when they checked. Anyway. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll go ahead and stop with this short one today. I'll do a longer stream tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye-bye.